In this video, we'll see how to add two columns in which we're going to enter marks and then a calculated column which will average those two. To add a new column to enter marks for a test or an assignment or any other piece of work that you're going to mark independently, click on Create Column, give the column a name. In this case, we're going to enter marks for two tests, test one and test two. And you can add more details, and including a description. We're going to mark each out of 100. And we're going to include the column in the Grade Centre calculations, and we're going to show this column to students. Again, if we click No here, students won't be able to see the marks we enter, and we can later come back and edit and make this available. But for the moment, we'll allow students to see the marks. So we now have a new column, test one. We're going to create a second column. We'll call this test two. And again, we're going to mark this out of 100 marks. Scrolling down, leaving the rest of the settings, hit submit. We now have two columns in which we can enter marks, test one and test two. At this stage, we're going to do a calculated column, which will work out the average of these two tests. So creating a calculated column, we're going to choose a weighted column. I suppose we could also choose an average column, in which case it would just average the two, but a weighted column is more flexible. So here we're going to have a, um, let's just call it the total. And scrolling down, we're going to have it displayed as a percentage. And we're going to choose then from the columns that we have, test one, and test two and move them over to the right. Here we can choose the weights. In this case I'm going to choose 50% for each but if the tests were worth different amounts we could choose appropriate percentages to weight them. Once the weightings add up to 100% that's fine. Calculating as a running total is quite useful. A running total includes items that we have but it will either work it out as an average of the items for which there are marks available or as um, an average of all, in, which assumes that zero is if there's no grade. So if we've entered a mark in test one, but not in test two, the running total will just give the value for test one, whereas if we have it off, it will average it with an assumed zero for test two. So generally, I'd leave it as yes, and that will give the students the, their running total of averages. Again, we'll make the column available for students, hit submit, and now let's enter some marks just to see how it would work for students. So here if we take, um, say, Joe Soap and we enter 50 for Joe uh, in test 1 and we enter, say, 70 in test 2, so we can see that the average mark here is 60. If we change test 1 back down to 40, we can see now the average has dropped to 55%. One thing that's quite nice is if you want to look at the grade details, you can look at it in more detail. So we can see the mark for Joe Soap of 40. We can see that the 40 out of 100, that the mark has been based on the last graded attempt. It's the mark that we had. We can look at the grade history and we can see the mark previously was 50 and who did the editing. So there's a full history, grade history of any changes that have been done. Okay, we'll go back to the grade center. So I'm just going to click here over to the left. And that's how you set up uh, columns to enter marks from a test or an assignment outside of Blackboard and how you enter a calculated column in which you can work out an average or indeed, as we have here, a weighted average.